Hey YouTube, Frankie Session here. You know what? A little birdie told me that your Windows 7 audio ain't working. Let's fix that. Okay, so hopefully you've already seen my video on diagnosing the Windows audio service. And hopefully that video brought you here. This video is for people who already know that their issue is because of a driver. Drivers are extremely important in the audio system. They help your hardware, your speakers and headphones, communicate with your operating software, Windows 7. Many things can cause driver errors, so let's dive right in. Wait! Before we get started, make sure you're connected to the internet. Both the troubleshooter and driver installations can require the use of the internet. If your PC is not connected to the internet, then certain processes mentioned in this guide may not work. So get connected to the internet, please. Okay, so let's say that I want to use this Microsoft LiveChat LX3000 headset on my computer. Sometimes a headset may only be compatible with Windows Vista or another specific OS. So step one is to make sure that the headset is compatible with your operating software. You can do this very quickly by typing in the name of your headset into a search engine and finding a page with the product description and specifications. Here we can see that the Microsoft LiveChat headset I have is compatible with Windows 7, but it does not work with Windows XP 64-bit. Making sure that your PC meets all system requirements is a huge part of your hardware working, making this a required step. When a driver is installing, it's very important that all cables are solid and the power to the device is stable. Check that all cables are tight, solid connections, and also that the device has a steady supply of power. If the device turns off or becomes disconnected while the driver is installing, then it will fail to install. Give the troubleshooter a try. The troubleshooter has actually worked for me a couple of times. Go to Start, Control Panel, Troubleshooting, Troubleshoot Audio Playback, and follow the steps in the troubleshooter. If the driver failed to install the first time, we should try to reinstall it. It is possible that the cord may have become unplugged while the device's driver was installing, causing the driver to not install correctly. To try to reinstall the driver, go to Start, Control Panel, Device Manager, Sound and Video Game Controllers, then select your device, and select Uninstall. If you do not see your device there, it is possible the device was not recognized, so it could be under the Other Devices section. This is usually where problem devices are held. Also, typically when you see this yellow warning sign, it's an indicator that the device did not install correctly, so uninstalling it would be a good idea. Now unplug your device and restart your computer. With your computer restarted, plug your device in and make sure the USB cable does not get bumped or moved. It could become unplugged again during the driver installation process and again corrupt the driver, thus not fixing your problem. If the driver installs correctly, then great, your device should be good to go. If it did not install correctly, then let's move on to the next step. Okay, so we have ensured that the device and operating software are compatible, everything is plugged in correctly, and we've made sure that nothing got unplugged while installing the driver. From here, I can only see one thing causing this issue. Some devices use specific, non-generic drivers to operate on Windows. Windows has a huge bank of drivers for all kinds of different devices, but sometimes your device may require a specific driver to operate correctly. Many times a manufacturer includes a driver installation disk with their products, but these disks often get lost and carry outdated drivers anyways, so let's go straight to the source and download the latest driver directly. This process may be different for everyone depending on what kind of device you have, but here's an example anyways. I'm looking for a driver for my Microsoft LiveChat LX3000 headset, so I'll type that into a search engine. Make sure you are exact when typing in the model of your headset or speakers. Here you can see that this is the Microsoft website. Getting your drivers direct from the manufacturer is always best. Go to the Support tab, select your operating software, and click Download. Run the software and go through the wizard. Follow the instructions carefully and read all notices. The driver should now have installed correctly and your device should work properly. Well this is it. I hope this video has helped you solve your driver issues with the Windows Audio service. Keep in mind that it's always possible that the device is broken or that there's a severe problem within the Windows 7 operating software. If the driver still hasn't successfully installed and your device is not working properly then please Leave a comment below this video or send me a private message here on YouTube. 
You can also effectively reach me at any other social media platform like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. If you like this kind of content and would like to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Guys, I've taken up enough of your time. I'm Frankie Seshi, and I'll see you later.